Mr. Truck here with another exciting trailer accessory review. This time it's tires. You know, trailer tires is your first line of defense against the road, against danger, against all those things you don't want. You don't want to break down on the road. I usually carry a lot of spares because you have a lot of tire problems. I'd say it's the number one tire. The one number one problem with trailers is having a tire problem. And then it's like, you know, you're plugging electrical and then it's your wheel bearings. But tires cause all those problems that slow you down and break you down. Mr. Truck here, some exciting news. My book is finally out. I wrote this book with Andre Smirnoff of the Fast Lane Truck. It's the, the Fast Lane Truck's guide to pickup trucks. And what that means is Andre talks about all the different stats in here, the different races we did, the different tests we did, climbing up the mountain with loads, doing miles per gallon with loads, doing the track with loads, all these different things uh, to help judge a truck and then pick about the best ones. He talks about future trucks. On my side, I talk about how to judge a used truck. Should you buy a new truck or a used truck? Should you buy a diesel or a gas truck? So all those things are in there. We talk about transmissions. We talk about trailers, how to get the trailer matched to your truck so it's a safe towing experience. So we talk about payload, how to figure that, gross combined weight rating, axle weight rating, tongue weight, all those different things. We talk about teenage safety when they learn to drive. So we're doing a lot of that in the book. And you can get this at all the independent stores like Tattered Cover. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. And it's just awesome. If you want to look up Google, just go Truck Nets Book. Make sure you put book in there or you might be surprised. But by the book, what we're looking at here is a tire from Bohr Wheel Company. And it's a 195 low profile. But the cool thing about it, you'll see these two tires, they're only three quarters of an inch difference. And that's a 195, this is a 16. Most I have seven test traders that we test new trucks and SUVs on. And most of them are this 235-80 R16. And this one fits the same bolt pattern, which is a six and a half from stud to stud. And it's on a 19.5 low profile, 14 ply tire. Now, let me measure these just to show you the difference between them. Okay, looking at this one, it's probably 30 and a quarter inches. 30 inches plus a quarter is about where that's at. Did you zoom on that, Sam? Yeah, 30 and a quarter. Now, I'll go over to here. And we'll measure up, and it's 30 and 3 quarters, so actually it's about a half inch. I know looking at them across that fender, it looks more than that. But you figure, you know, less than a half inch on each side of the axle. And if you ever had to space the, the, the trailer above the axle, it would be well worth your money for what you're going to get out of it. For my traders, I won't have to do any spacing, but think about that. You're going from a, a 10-ply tire to a 14-ply tire. And these are the big boys. These are what's been certified for, you know, semi-rigs. The same kind of a Society of Automotive Engineer J rating on it and testing. So that this is regroovable and retreadable. You know, you, that's what you only hear about on the big rigs. Now you can do it for all your tires. So I'm going to go through and test these out. We're going to do some long-term tests and see how well they run. But these tires, you know, they haven't been changed in decades. You think about the changes in trucks in just the last five years. I mean, we've got Ram and Ford both now tow over 30,000 pounds. And you've got Ram or Ford and GM on a bumper pull application, conventional tow, that's over 21,000 pounds. 21,000 pounds on a trader like this. So, you know, <laughs> it's time for the tire world to catch up to the truck world. And that's what these are. You know, I mean, it's, that's the kind of tire that won't build up heat. And being a low-profile 19 and a half, when you're going around corners, you're not going to have all that flexing. All that flexing that loosens up your studs, loosens up your bearings, creates heat, is gone. So we're going to do some long-term tests and see how many miles we can get out of these. But they're a very thick, heavy-duty wheel. And in the regular axle here, the regular tires that I use, and these are 14, or these are 7,000-pound uh, axles. i got 14 GBW. But these are rated about a 3,000 pound load on these tires. Those are almost 4,000 pound load and Bohr has them 5 and 6,000 pounds. So that's the nice thing about it. I mean you can order a new trailer axles on a new tire, a new trailer and get you know 17 fives, 14 ply, get all that crazy stuff on those 10,000 pound axles. What about all the traders you have at home? And you don't trade traders that often. 
With this, you can fix up the tires on your trailers now that you already have. You don't have to go out and buy that new trailer. You're ready to go. Fit the same bolt pattern. They've got lots of different sizes, and you can go 9 16ths, 5 8 studs. They've got all that. Mine are 9 16ths. But uh, join us for some more demonstrations. We're going to see how everything works with these. Well, I worry a lot about towing in August, even in Colorado, with the heat. That's when you have problems with just about everything. That's when my new baby trees seem to die of thirst. That's when my tires blow. All these things happen when it's really hot in August. And that's Colorado. Can you imagine Arizona? And who wants to change your trailer tire? A lot of times it's at night or in the rain or whenever it is. But these tires, 14 ply tires, I mean, they're 110 PSI. So you've got high pressure holding them up. You know, they're not going to be flexing a lot when you're going around corners. And, you know, these are. Uh, a 225-70R-19.5, which fits very closely to what my wheels are. My tires are 235-80R-16s. As we showed you, there's only three quarters of an inch difference between the tires, which is not much. I figured half of that above and below the axle. But these have been tested for the semi-rigs. It's a, called it's a SAE J267 with SA. J S A E is Society of Automotive Engineers, and the standard that they passed the test on was a J267. And if you and then when you when you watch these trailers go around corners, well, especially triple axles, those are really obvious to see. The front and the rear totally flex, almost pop off the rims. Even on a two axle, you got a lot of flexing on corner on a real tight corner with a heavy load. And at the, these are a Triangle brand tire, and. Uh, Looking at these bore wheels around the center, they fit very tightly on that hub. So I think these are like a hub pilot. I'll have to find that out. But they look like a hub pilot, different than a stud pilot, which means your wheels, your, your lug nuts will not loosen as often. And it's a, it's a better way to support the weight on your axles. Now, if you watch on this video, you'll see how the front axle tilts, or the front tire tilts inward and the rear tire tilts outward. That's the, the actual motion turn the corner. Well, all that flexing is hard on the tires. It's hard on, you know, the bearings. It actually can loosen wheels up, loosen up bearings and all that. And it, uh, it's not what you want to do. And you look at the marks on the highway here as we're turning these tight corners. You can see the, the rubber that gets peeled off going around that corner. That's how much sideways force there is on these tires. And, you know, they, uh, we, then we've also done the same circle uh, on a stock trailer. This here is a car hauler. And this, both trailers are about the same wheelbase, same weight. And uh, here we show the bore wheel going around in a circle and not leaving a track. And here you see uh, the bore wheel on the stock trailer was about the same wheelbase and weight as the car trailer we did with the uh, my 16 stock tires. Now, on this uh, stock trailer... You don't see much of a mark left on the on the ground, and you don't see the tires flexing. Um, but that's you know part of the problem is turning tight corners. The other part of the problem is flying down the road, you know, and, and a lot of us are driving 80 miles an hour, and that's the law in a lot of states, Texas and Utah and Colorado at 75. So you see a lot of people pulling trailers, you know, at 75, 85 miles an hour. And you want very good tires if you're going to go road speeds. So, I like these tires. Mr. Truck here, I was so happy that we found the Bora Wheel Company. Because tires is a big problem. You know, we have seven test traders. We test brand new trucks and SUVs up the mountains, 11,000 feet, 7% grades. We do a lot of brake testing on tracks. So we're really hard on trader tires. And these are going to be the best we've seen. They... Uh, you know, you, you hate having flats, and those, I get calls all the time and emails from folks with problems with the trailer tires on horse trailers. Folks in Arizona, I don't know how they survive with all the heat. It's very hard on tires. The heavier ply, the better. These bores, you know, I mean, these are rated for what like a semi-tractor has, a semi-tractor trailer and, RV and, per, and commercial buses, so they're the real thing. But you sure don't want to be broke down somewhere in the heat with a trailer full of horses or cattle or llamas or whatever you want to haul. And because that's, you know, that's really hard on them. There's no air circulation in the trailer when it's setting still. So flats, that's why we carry so many spares and do all these other things. Well, bore a wheel is the answer. It's a thick, heavy wheel. You can get them all the way up to a 6,000-pound capacity per tire. 
you know, I mean, compared to the 3,000 I have on most of my trailers now, it's a big improvement, you know, low profile, less flexing, less heat, and it'll fit your trailer, bolt pattern you have now on most of your trailers. You don't have to go out and buy a new trailer just to get better tires, which is a big deal. 14 ply, they're regroovable, they're retreadable, just like the semi guys. So it's the real deal. And I know how many problems that the tires create when you're trying to travel across country. It causes a lot of problems. But uh, we're going to do some long-term testing on this, put them on horse traders, let them go across country a few hundred times. And uh, we'll have a review with them later on.